kids do not watch sports the way that adults watch sports. Is that a youthful perception, or is it because that sports aren't tailored to them? Yeah, we, uh, great to be here, Mark. Um, we think that uh, this digital generation of kids has very different media habits. Um, uh, they have much shorter attention spans, and they want to understand the behind the scenes. They would, frankly, like their own relationship directly with some of the athletes. Um, so they watch in a very different way. And we really feel like we are um, addressing a very underserved audience right now, did, which is enormous. Did becoming a father teach you this? Do you, as I mentioned, you have three kids. What are your kids telling you? Yeah, you know, I, my, I've started and sold a couple companies and was home uh, after selling the second one. And I saw sports media through my kids' eyes. And um, it really... Um, made us aware that there's a big opportunity that kids weren't just weren't as engaged in long form broadcast content. Um, digital kids today want to be part of the digital conversation. They want it shorter form and they want to lean in and be part of the conversation and, and social media plays a big role in that. John Ehrlichman out in Los Angeles, talk to me about kids becoming part of that digital form that Mr. West has talked about. Now, it's, it's so important in the same way that John got to know what was going on in part through his kids. You've got companies like Awesomeness TV based here in L.A., which was acquired by DreamWorks and uh, Animation. And, and the CEO there, Brian Robbins, was watching his own kids uh, not turning on the television, just watching what they could watch on their tablets. And a lot of that is YouTube content. So, Mark, we have really seen the rise of what are called multi-channel networks, which basically are new networks created on YouTube that bring together all these different YouTube channels and become the new cable channels. I think what's interesting in John's case is that now we're talking more about sports and moving beyond just things like fashion, gaming, which have sort of been some of the, the, the areas that we've talked a lot about so far. Mr. West, why sports? Um, uh, two reasons. Uh, as a parent, um, I felt that sports really should be character building for, for, for young fans. It should really teach them... Uh, self-confidence and teamwork, fitness, nutrition, math and science. Sports is a natural and fun way for this generation to learn um, critical life skills. Uh, secondly, when we looked at, there are 1.9 billion uh, youth globally, 18 and under, 70 million in the United States. And, and to John's point, when we looked at all the segments of media that they consume, the average kid in the U.S. today consumes almost eight hours a day of media. Um, and we saw fashion and gaming uh, we get all the way to sports, and largely most of the content that they had was made for their parents, which, again, is a different, uh, there are different generational needs for this new digital native generation. John, you want to jump in here? Yeah, John, given that sports leagues and broadcasters are very protective of the rights for live games, how do you navigate those waters? Yeah, great question, John. Uh, we, we have great partnerships with the NFL, Major League Baseball, NASCAR, PGA Tour, and several others. Um, and, and really, uh, we're not going after live games. We have research that shows that this generation is watching less live games. Um, so we're going for everything else. And part of that is some library content we get from the leagues and re-edit and shorten and make more interesting to, to today's youth. Uh, and then also some, some co-creative content that we do to try and take, for example, YouTube sports stars and bring them into a pro sports, uh, pro league um, facility or with pro athletes and really kind of create a, a great collaboration. Is this a question of treating kids like small adults, giving them questions for their curiosity and for their intellect? You give them credit for that? Yeah, I think, I think it's about being authentic. And sure. I think that this sure generation has a different set of requirements about what's authentic to them. And... Uh, they, they also want to be part of the content. Um, you know, again, going back to not being broadcast to, they want to upload a video and edit it and share it with friends as part of their digital media experience in addition to watching their pro sports heroes or their YouTube sports heroes. So it's really kind of a mix. Um, I was at VidCon out in L.A. last week, and, it, you know, it is, uh, it, until you've been there, you can't really um, convey the, the uh, passion that this generation has for their media, and it's in a very different way than, than, our, than our generation was. John, the, the numbers obviously speak for themselves with respect to the traffic you guys are getting. But the cable companies will argue that getting people to give up live sports is not going to happen. It's not going to happen anytime soon. My question to you is, as this new generation grows up, right now they're probably at home and it's their parents' cable package and they're watching you know, World Cup through that, do you think they're going to pay for cable to access live sports? Well, that's the big question. Um, you know, I think the, the research that we've done on digital natives uh, really shows us that they want uh, content on their own terms. Uh, in addition to watching live games, uh, they want background behind the scenes, how-to, funny trick shots. So 
we really view it as augmenting a live sports experience and, and certainly with the work we're doing with our league partners. Um, we, we truly try and show up and, and give this short attention span generation additional um, content around the sports wrapped into social media. Yeah, Mr. West, about 30 seconds left. When you get Derek Jeter and Peyton Manning, two future Hall of Famers, to sign on this and give their seal of approval, what does that mean? You know, my co-founder, Jeff Urban, um, uh, has a, a great reputation in the sports industry and, and, and knows uh, Derek and Peyton. I think to us what it means is that um, you know, great pro athletes are behind our mission to really create sports content that's authentic for this generation and it's focused on a positive, uh, a positive content with family-friendly advertising.